a dummy. And I have a real dummy for this one. <laughs> All right? So now, so the patient's going to be lying in the bed, and you're going to assist them. They're going to help you. <coughs> they can move. Okay? So you're going to place the bedpan underneath them so they can do whatever they have to do, and then you're going to collect it, clean it, and put it back where it belongs. This uh, particular skill, you're going to have one, two, I think three glove change and five hand washing techniques. Same code. Five hand? Wow. Five. All right. So, the patient's going to be lying in the bed. You're going to knock on the door. You're going to introduce yourself, name and title. You're going to address the patient by name and let the patient know that you're here to help them with the elimination with bed pan. The patient's going to tell you okay. They're going to give you the okay to continue. You're going to go wash your hands. After you do the hand washing technique, that's the first one. You're going to come back and ask the client if you could check the ID to make sure he or she is the correct client that you're rendering the skill upon. After that, you're going to collect your equipment, right? So, what you need, you need mattress pad, you need gloves. Put some gloves in my hand, in my uniform pocket. I'm going to come to the side of the bed. I don't need my gloves on yet. Uh -huh. right. First thing I got to do is get this mattress pad underneath them. So, I'm going to ask the client, right, to bend their knees. I'm going to lock the bed, raise the bed, provide the privacy. So the patient's going to bend their knees. Okay. He's going to bend his knees. Remember, this is supposed to be a real person to help you. <coughs> You're only going to expose the area that you need, so that will be the hip area. His hands are folded on, on his body, so I'm going to move this out my way. His hands are like this. His knees are bent. This is the mattress pad. The cotton side goes to the patient. The plastic goes to the bed. Right? So you're going to fan fold like this. And fold. You're going to ask the client to bend down on their feet and lift their hips up towards the ceiling as high up as they can so you can take this and slide it underneath. This is a dummy. He can't move, right? Because right? he's not real. So I have to do the action myself. So he's going to lift. When he lifts, you slide this underneath them, right? Then they put their buttocks back down. Go to the other side and pull the other side out. Because they have to be directly in the middle. Right? This is to prevent any damage to the bed, spillage from the bed pan. If any um, urine spills out, it will be on here. This will soak it up. You will remove it and the bed will be intact and you don't have to do that. Alright? So now. Now you're ready to proceed to what? To the bed pan. So you're going to put on your gloves. The bed pan is located in the last drawer or all the way at the bottom of the nightstand. So you're going to get your bed pan. The bed pan is always to be covered. So you're going to take this chuck and you're going to place it here on the chair. The chair also has a chuck on it. Because this is considered a clean, dirty item. It's clean right now, but it's dirty. Why? Because it holds urine and feces. Right? So, you are always to hold the bed pan on the side. You are never to hold it in the front or in the back. This is the back, the lower portion. The higher portion goes to the front. Urine doesn't leak down. Urine skeets outward. It shoots out. So, this catches the urine. So this is considered to have urine on, and this is considered to have feces contamination. So you never touch these two parts. You touch here. So this goes to the front. This goes to the back. You're going to hold it with one hand. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to ask the client to bear down on their feet 
and lift their hips up as high up as they can. This time, you're going to put your hand underneath at the lower portion of their back right here, and you're going to help them to lift because this is not flat like this. This has height. So you have to get it up underneath their buttocks. Right? So, okay, Mr. Jones, we're going to do the same exact thing. I want you to bear down on your feet. I want you to lift up your hips towards the ceiling as high up as you can for me. I'm going to help you. That way I can put the bed pan underneath you. You ready? On the count of three, you're going to do this. So I locate my hand, right? I put it, and I ask him, one, two, three. He lifts, I place, right? It's going to feel uncomfortable for him at the beginning. Why? Because it's lumpy, it's hard, plastic, and everything. Now the patient is on the bedpan. I'm going to remove one glove because i got to touch this. And I'm going to raise the head of the bed to make him sit comfortable on the bedpan. So now we're going to raise the head of the bed. Okay, so now, Mr. Jones... You're going to sit up on the bed pad for me. I'm going to raise the head of the bed. Let me know if it's uncomfortable or anything so I can shift it. Sometimes it, has, it shifts. You still have one hand that's gloved so you can touch and move the bed pad and get him into position. He'll let you know when he's comfortable. Okay, you good? Great. So now I'm going to remove this glove all together. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to give him some tissue, right? You have to explain to him how to use the tissue. You have to wipe from front to back and drop the tissue in the bed pan. Please do not drop it on the floor or leave it on the bed. So you explain how to use it, right? You need to give him his call bell. That's the only way you're going to know he's done. So you give him the call bell. The curtain is already raised. You have to lower the bed back down. Can't leave the bed up high. What if he tries to get out? Ka -ka, boom! He's going to hurt himself. So you want to lower the bed. Once you lower the bed, you already know to call you. You have to wash your hands and you're going to leave. That's the second hand washing. You're going to wash your hands and leave. I'm waiting for him to call. He calls. I come back to the room. So Jones, are you done? Are you ready to get off the bed pad? He tells me, yes, he's done. I have to go over here. I'm going to wash my hands. But I'm going to bring a washcloth. Get the tissue. I'm going to turn on the faucet. I'm going to do my hand washing. I'm going to take this washcloth. I'm going to wet it. And I'm going to put a little bit of antibacterial soap on it. So it's kind of like damp. Tissue, I turn off the faucet. I'm going to bring this with me, and I'm going to hand this to Mr. Jones. I give this to him. He's going to hand wash, because he was all, you know, doing his thing. Right? So I'm going to put on one glove. You said you put soap on the wash off, right? Yes. I'm going to remove this. Raise the bed back to my level. So when we come back in, we got to wash our hands. Yeah, I did that when I got the washcloth. Oh, you did? That's number three. Oh, okay. So now I got <laughs> clean gloves on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this washcloth that he used to clean himself up, and I'm going to put it there. I can put it there because that's a chuck. Okay? So now, I have to lower the head of the bed, right? So I'm going to lower, lower the head of the bed. Because I have to get him off the bed pad. Same thing. You're going to bend your knees for me. Bend the knees. Ask him to 
fold his hands so they can be out the way. You only expose the area that you need, which is the hip area. You're going to grab the mattress pad and the bed pan together. That way you don't have to do two liftings. You can do it all in one shot. On the count of three, I need you to bear down on your feet, lift up your hips, and I'm going to remove the bed pan, Mr. Joe. You ready? I'm going to help you. One, two, three. He lifts. You remove. He goes back down. You come over here. Place this there. Cover it. You don't know what's in there. Mm -hmm. You're going to remove these. You're going to help the client. You got to get them comfortable. <coughs> You're going to lower the bed. You don't need the bed high no more. Or anymore. If there is not chair, can you put the bed bath in uh, in the floor? The floor, only if there's a barrier. The the bed pan, if, can you put it on the floor? Only if there's a chuck on the floor. Oh. You can put it on the bottom of the bed too. Only if there's a chuck on the bed. Okay. Because it's a dirty item. Mm. You can never ever put it on here. Oh yeah. I don't care where. What's the situation? Mm -hmm. Never. All right. So now, you ready to discard all this stuff and deal with that? The patient is safe, right? So I'm going to get my third pair of gloves. I don't know how to wear these this all day. I have to fake it. Yeah, I'll fake it. These are too small for me. So I put on my new <laughs> pair of gloves. They're too small. New pair of gloves I put on. I, put, I got gloves on. This is the third pair of gloves. <coughs> now we're going to deal with all of this stuff, right? So you got the bed pan, you got the mattress pad, you got the chuck, all of that. I'm coming over here. Right? I'm going to come over here. Mattress pad goes in. The laundry. This chuck goes in the garbage. But I'm not going to throw it away because it's brand new. This chuck that was covering goes in the garbage. You're going to get tissue. You're going to turn on the water. You're going to look, and you're going to dump in the commode. You're going to get some water, and you're going to dump. You're going to get water, soap, tissue. You're going to wash, and you're going to dump. Water, you're going to rinse that soap, you're going to dump. The last water can go in here. Tissue, dry. There's a tissue here. You can put it on the tissue. You get your new clean chuck that you have there on the side, and you cover. This is going to go back in there. Goes in here. Remove your gloves. You're going to dump. You're going to do hand washing. After all that activity, dry, tissue, clothes, you're going to come back to the client. The client is safe, right? Mm -hmm. The bed is down, they got the call bell, you got to open up the curtain, you got to ask the client anything that they need or whatever. You're going to put away any equipment that you have left. Everything is clean, you're going to wash your hands and the skill is complete. Five hand washing technique. You can't cut it down to four if you're real precise at the end. Because when I come back, Everything should have been in place. I could have opened up the curtain before I left. And I wouldn't have to do the last time washing. But better to be safe than sorry. Any questions? So it's not long. 